Welcome to the Driving the World podcast series. I'm your host, Cully Holland. Today we are coming to you from the AGMA Motion and Power Expo, and we have Jenny Blackford with AGMA. Hey, Jenny, how are you today? Great, how are you? Doing wonderful. Uh, thank you so much for having me. I'm very glad you had the chance to stop by. So why don't you just tell the folks kind of who you are and the uh, roles you play in apparently the AGMA and the ABMA while we're sitting here. Great, so I'm Jenny Blackford. Uh, I am recently became the COO of the American Gear Manufacturers Association. And then uh, starting in 2019, also became the president of the American Bearing Manufacturers Association. And uh, so both organizations are more than 100 years old and uh, AGMA has more than 400 company members and serves a wide variety of uh, small to medium to large companies, but generally sort of the medium sized company. Right. And then in 2019, we had an opportunity to uh, help the American Bearing Manufacturers Association with new management there. And so that's when I became president there. Uh, and that's an interesting organization because there's only 25 members. A little smaller. A little smaller, but all of those companies are quite large. Okay. So of the bearing manufacturers, you know, most of the time you're looking at billions of dollars, not millions of dollars in annual sales. So it's been a, it's been a very interesting experience to see how the industries are beginning to come together a little bit more and be more, uh, you know, full systems providers and also dealing with very diverse business interests while we're working with small and medium uh, on the gear side and then translating that over to the large and vice versa. And it's really proven to be a nice collaboration between the two organizations. Uh, you know, trade issues are very, very important to larger companies. AGMA wasn't really in that space and still, until we started ha helping the American bearing manufacturers because trade is vital to international companies such as SEW. Uh, and so, you know, over the past couple of years, we've built trade webinars and have regular experts talk about business and uh, tariff issues and things like that that we might not have done just as AGMA. So it's nice to see how they play together. It sounds like it was two, uh, two associations running in parallel, but now they've kind of started, you know, working together uh, cohesively as a group, which, I mean, completely makes sense from our end because we need all the components to make the final product. And I like what you're saying, working towards a solution provider, because that's something that SEW believes in. Actually, one of our mantras is people don't want products, they want solutions. Absolutely. So even though, you know, the bearings and the gears are a component or a product that goes into the units we make, we need a complete system that works together so that we can get a quality solution to our customers at the end of the day. So I think it's really interesting that the gearing was smaller to medium and then the bearings were large. So now with them joining together, you kind of have the whole portfolio under you. And it, it makes sense that those meetings are gonna really be fruitful. So. Is there anything that we need to know moving forward, like in the near future that's gonna be happening with either the American Gear or the American Bearing Associations? So on the American Bearing side, we're actually starting a new project on uh, wind turbines. Uh, you know, obviously the gearboxes are extremely important in the wind turbine industry and also the main shaft bearings. And so uh, over the next probably six months to a year, the American Bearing Manufacturers is going to be taking a look at that. So if anybody is interested in participating in that project, we'd love to have them. Uh, and then on the gear side, you know, we're looking at EV and other emerging technologies, which everybody plays in, right? Right. Even if you're not involved in it today, you just want that awareness of what's coming and what could potentially shape your business five years, 10 years down the road. So keeping an eye out for new opportunities for our members and things of that nature. And then always collaborating more and looking for those opportunities. And uh, you know, for SEW or for anybody out there who has any suggestions for pain points that you're seeing in the industry, both groups are always looking for suggestions. So by all means, reach out. That's 
amazing. And I, I love the fact that gears and bearings are staying on the cutting edge and innovating, even though, like you said, both have been around for over 100 years. They're staying right there on the front lines, which I think is very important to all the industries involved. And in some of our other podcasts, we've mentioned that agma.org is a good place to find information and reach out to AGMA. Uh, what about the bearings, ABMA? Is there a good way to reach out to them or so any contact our, information our for Our website is AmericanBearingsPlural.org. Uh, and you are more than welcome. Also, if you just reach out through AGMA, it'll eventually find its way over. Uh, so that's no problem either. So happy to hear from anybody out there who may have an interest in these topics. Well, very good. I think we've uh, touched both of those a lot. Uh, if you don't have anything else to add, it uh, has been a pleasure having you on today. I Thank appreciate you, so much, you showing Holly. up. I hope you have a great day. Thanks.